Hi, it's Charlie Guarino. I want to talk to you today about the latest version of RDI, version 9.6.0.7, just came out. And if you go to the RDI Developer Hub, which was just redesigned, I might add, came out beautiful, the RDI Developer Hub, you will find on there the fix list for RDI 9607. Just like previous releases, there are, new, there are new functions and it lists them very easy for you to read, but there are two in particular that really caught my eye and I think they are really game changers. Let me explain what they are. The first one is listed on the top of the fix list and it's called a new extract procedure refactoring feature. Now let me explain what this does. This gives you the ability to highlight a block of code, a block of code, I can select it and then right click on it. The menu will appear. I can say refactor and then I can say extract procedure. Now what that's going to do for me is take whatever code I've highlighted and then it's going to delete it from the current section and create a local procedure out of it. And if there's any particular variable that got changed in there, it will then return that variable. It will analyze the code and do, it, do a best guess to figure out which is the most important variable and return it. Really impressive. And I'll tell you, think about this. The ability to take any block of code, a common routine, for example. Now I can highlight it and make a procedure out of it. Now, why is that important? This local procedure can then be lifted out of that program and put into an external module. That external module can then be created into a service program. So now I have the means to start really picking apart my programs, looking for common routines and building a nice collection, a nice library of service programs. If you look at the IBM modernization roadmap or the RPG road uh, modernization roadmap, you'll see on there that it talks about modulizing. And this is an important point of it, important part, is modulizing, taking common routines, write once, use many. That's the whole purpose of this. And now we have the makings of it. Now, I suspect that this uh, procedure feature will get better over time as, a, as we keep using it in the community, but this is a really great start. The second one that really caught my attention is the ability to now add conditions on service entry breakpoints. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, you know in the debugger, of course, I have the ability to add an unconditional breakpoint, always stop at a line, or I can add a condition to a breakpoint, a conditional breakpoint, only stop when a particular variable equals something, or I can do a watch breakpoint, which means I don't know where it's changing, but just change it. Whenever it does change, stop and let me do something. That's watch. This new enhancement is like having a watch breakpoint on steroids. Here's the difference. I now have the ability to add a condition to test for an incoming parameter. So if it doesn't equal a particular value that I'm searching for, it will not even invoke the debugger. Here's a perfect test case for this too. We have programs running as APIs, web services. Now, if you know anything about how that works, they all come into the same program with a common user ID. And if you're trying to test a particular function from a website in, or a web service call, it may not be easy or it's not easy to discern which requester sent that request. By now giving me the ability to test an incoming parameter ahead of time, I can actually just debug the program I'm looking for. This is really important. This, as I said, is a game changer. The ability to test parameters before the program gets called is really has changed the whole paradigm of development. So those two alone, the ability to create procedures and to test incoming parameters, this is a slam dunk. Now there are other RFEs on there. I encourage you to read them. I encourage you to go to the RDI the RFE community, get a login if you don't have one, it's free. And by the way, you can also create your own RFEs, which is equally as important. And then we can all see your requests and then we can all vote on them. And this is how the community gets new function into the product. Anyway, I have a lot of travel this year. 
I'm hoping to see you at, at one conference or someplace this year. If we do happen to meet, please stop by and say hello. I look forward to our little uh, chat. Anyway, thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Go check out 9607. You won't regret it. Bye.